Snakes grow up continuously throughout their entire lives. From the moment that they're born to the moment that they die, they never stop growing. But the rate at which they grow differs between species. In this video, we're gonna be talking about blood pythons specifically and how fast you should expect your snake to grow. This is Pierce's Planet, stick around. Yo, what's going on everybody? And welcome back to another episode of Pierce's Planet. I hope you all are doing amazing. I am here with Anzu, the Rainbow Lorekey, and we are going to be talking about blood python growth rate. So my blood python, Cleopatra, just turned five years old recently, and so I thought today would be the perfect time to kind of show you guys her growth throughout the years and what you should expect if you were thinking about bringing home a blood python of your own. So one of the reasons why I thought this topic is important is because when you're taking home a new snake it has a lot of financial implications and one of the major ones is the enclosure that you're going to be putting them in the enclosures are usually the most expensive thing that you're going to buy initially when you purchase a snake and throughout the snake's life depending on what size enclosure you buy you're going to have to be upgrading that enclosure and the bigger the enclosure you're buying the more expensive it's going to be so knowing the growth rate of your snake is important so that you can prepare yourself and have a better understanding of what size enclosures you're going to be needing and how frequently you're going to have to be upgrading your enclosures. So as I said previously, my blood python Cleopatra just turned five years old and that's about the time when they reach their full size. Now, as I said in the intro to this video, snakes continuously grow until they die. They never stop growing. But the rate at which they grow does slow down tremendously once they reach sexual maturity. I do wanna put out a disclaimer that Cleopatra is a female blood python and female blood pythons tend to be larger and they grow quicker than males. So just wanted to put that out there that that could also affect the rate of growth of your snake as well. Now, normally if I was doing a video like this, I would have Cleopatra out with me. I'd be holding her as I'm talking to you and doing the video, but I gotta tell you, she is large. She is a good size and blood pythons are not the greatest to hold and to handle just because they aren't arboreal, they don't grab onto you, you have to be constantly holding them. So I'm not gonna bring her out until the end where I'll, when I'll show you guys how big she is now at five years old. But what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm going to basically just show you guys some pictures and some videos from the moment that I got her and then throughout the years so that you guys can see how much she's grown throughout the years. And I just wanna apologize in advance, most of these pictures are gonna have me in it, but I think it's better to have me in the pictures because it will give you some sort of a size reference, especially when I bring her out at the end and you just see how just how big she really is. Um, it'll be a good size reference for you guys to have by seeing these pictures with me and me holding her. Now, as you guys can see in these pictures that I'm showing you, she could fit in the palm of my hand when I first got her. She's about two or three months in these pictures. These pictures were taken in December of 2019. And when I first got her, she was in a much larger enclosure than what I needed her to be in. She was in a 40 gallon enclosure and really I could have put her in a 20 gallon, gallon enclosure and she would have been perfectly fine. Moving on, this next picture was taken in January of 2020 and I really like this picture because you can really see how small she was. I'm laying down, she sprawled out next to me and you can really see just how tiny she was at this point. At this point, she was about four months old, three or four months old and still has a lot of growing to do. These next pictures were taken in April of 2020 and Cleopatra at this point is about six months old. And I really like these pictures because this is probably the first time that you can really see a size difference and see that she's growing. Uh, if you look back at the picture from January and then you look at these pictures in April, you can see in that short amount of time, she had a growth spurt. And so this is about the time that 
you would probably start thinking about upgrading your snake from if you had them in a 20 gallon and putting them in a 40 gallon. These next pictures are from June and July of 2020. And also here, I think even from the pictures in April, you can see that Cleopatra hit another growth spurt. These next pictures I'm showing you guys are from the end of October. And so this is about when Cleopatra hit the one year mark. And so as you can see, she's grown substantially from the moment I got her to the one year mark. And so these are the things that you wanna consider when you're thinking about getting a blood python because like I said before, if you got them at that small size and put them in a 20 gallon enclosure, by this one year mark, they are going to definitely be too big for that 20 gallon enclosure, possibly even too big for a 40 gallon enclosure. So that's already two cage upgrades that you would have had to have done in a year span. So now with these next pictures, we move into the middle of 2021. At this point, Cleopatra is about a year and a half. And you can just see, it's just a steady growth, right? She just keeps getting a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger over the months. Still not at her full potential size, but getting there. So moving on to these next pictures, these pictures were taken at the end of September of 2021. Cleopatra is about two years old in these pictures. Now, blood pythons reach their sexual maturity or their full adult size at around the ages of three to five. So Cleopatra, you could tell in these pictures, she still has a lot of growing to do, but she's already a pretty decently large snake. She's got a lot of girth to her as most blood pythons do, but she's still got size to go. So again, I can't keep stressing it enough. Just keep that in mind when you're thinking about getting one of these snakes. You've got to make sure that you are able to upgrade them as needed, upgrade their cages as needed, and, and do what you need to do to make sure that they are living a comfortable life. Moving on to the year 2022, this would be when Cleopatra turned three years old. Don't really have a lot of pictures from this time, at least not a lot of pictures of me in it to give you that size reference. Uh, this was a time where I was looking to buy a new house. I was traveling to different states to see where I wanted to settle down at. And so just didn't really take a lot of time out of my day to take pictures with my snakes and do a lot of stuff like that. So don't really have a lot of pictures during this time when she was three, but I do have these two that hopefully give you somewhat of an idea of what she was looking like during this time. So now I'm gonna show you a video that I took in July of 2023. And if I'm doing my math correctly, I believe she's about three and a half years old in this video. Now this video is a more accurate re representation of what she looks like now. Even compared to this video, looking back at it, I can tell you that she has grown even still, but she's closer to the size that she is now in this video. So as you can see, three and a half years is all it takes for them to reach their full adult size. So just to put it in perspective, let's say that you bought a blood python as a baby, only a few months old, and you got a 20 gallon enclosure to put them in. 20 gallon enclosures are usually about two to three feet long and only about a foot or two wide. Now, by the time that they're three, three and a half years old, you're going to have to move that blood python into easily either a five foot long by two foot, three foot wide enclosure, or even what I have Cleopatra in, a six foot long by two and a half foot wide enclosure. And if you know the price differences between those two types of enclosures, you'll understand why I'm making this video because they are not cheap. So just keep that in mind, they do grow fast. And the last thing you want to do is for someone to get in over their head and two years later, three years later, have a big snake and they don't have anywhere to put it, so they have to give it away. So that's why I'm making this video. So now I've shown you Cleopatra's growth throughout the years. I showed you her when I first got her and she was only a couple months old, and I showed you her about a year and a half ago. Now it's time for me to show you her now currently. Okay, and here she is now. Five years old, about 40 pounds, Oh, so in just five years, this is how big these snakes get. And you can see this is why I didn't want to hold her this whole time. She's heavy. Like I said, she's about 40 pounds. Oh, damn. I'm gonna have to readjust her. Blood pythons do not help you hold them, that's for sure. Now you can see why. So this is five years, guys. This is full sexual maturity. This is 
fully grown for the most part. Obviously, like I said, she's gonna grow. She's gonna continue to grow for her entire life. But this is what you can expect after five years. Oh, it's a struggle to even hold her. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I hope it kind of put into perspective what to expect when you're thinking about getting a blood python. I know when I first got Cleopatra, I, don't, I would have loved to have had a video like this kind of explaining how fast they grow. Sorry, I'm, I'm out of breath trying to wrangle her. I'm out of breath. But I know that I would have wanted a video like this when I got Cleopatra to, to kind of know what to expect and how fast she was actually gonna grow. So that's why I made this video for you guys and I hope it was helpful. Let me know down in the comments if you would ever want to own a blood python and if not, what other species of snake would you want to own? Make sure you guys like this video, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and please, please, please share this video. Until next time everybody, my name is Pierce LaValle, I'm here with Cleopatra and we are in Pierce's planet and remember, it's all about the rest, baby. Peace. Usually the pet stores Thank you, Anzu. Usually the pet stores are going to sell you a small Can we not do this right now? Can we please not do this right now? But the rate at which they grow, <laughs> really? The rate at which they grow, they their, their growth rate slows down tremendously. It's not really the healthiest option for them. But now, as you can see in the photos, thank you, Anzu. It's so loud in my ear. The pictures that I'm going to be showing you, she can just how small she really, and her length, she's about the, what are you doing? From June and July of, <laughs> these next pictures are from June and July of 2020.